how to use Twilio to send SMS. Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Twilio to send SMS. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is open your browser and kind of go to Twilio.com. Or you can simply type on Google Twilio SMS free and just click the first link that come up and you will be directed in here, in which from here, it will show you the details about Twilio. Since Twilio is a cloud communication platform that provides developers with a set of APIs for building voice, video, and messaging applications. It enables software developers to integrate various communication functionalities, such as sending and receiving text messages, making and receiving phone calls, and implementing video chat in their applications and services. And aside from that, Twilio offers a sample of scalable way to incorporate real-time communication features into web and mobile applications without the need for complex telecom infrastructure. So overall, Twilio simplifies the process of incorporating communication capabilities into software applications, allowing developers to create robust and personalized experiences for their users. And with those all benefits and feature tools that this platform offers, you can all access it for free by creating your account or signing up in this platform. And to do that, kindly click the sign up button, which is located on the top right corner. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed in here. And in order to create your account, all you need to do is to fill out all of the required information, including your first name, last name, email address, and to create your own password, which is at least 16 characters. And after creating or signing up your account, you can now proceed by logging in your account that you created, in which all you need to do is to enter your email address and your password, and proceed by clicking the login button below. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed in this page. And from here, all you need to do is to enter your verification code that has been sent to your mobile number. And after that, proceed by clicking verify button below. And for one last step is to save your recovery code in which it will be helpful if you lose your phone and you don't have access to your verification device. Now proceed by clicking the finish button below and you will be directed in this page. And below here, all you need to do is to select your answer to their question, which will you product are you here to use? So I'm gonna select SMS. Well, the other question is what do you plan to build with Twilio? And below is the corresponding answer that you can select. But in this option, I'm gonna choose promotions. And after that, select the answer with a question, how do you want to build with Twilio? You have the option to choose with code, but you need to enter or select the coding language below. While by choosing with no code at all, you just need to select your answer to their question, what is your goal today? And after that, just proceed by clicking Get Started with Twilio. And you will be directed in this dashboard. And from here, it will show you how to learn in building your first SMS app. So the first step is to get a Twilio phone number in order to start sending or receiving SMS message with Twilio. And by clicking the button below that says Get Phone Number, you will get a virtual phone number. While below here, you will see the account info including account SID, your auth token, and your Twilio phone number. And now by clicking the next button, it will show you the next step, which is to try out SMS, in which you can choose the services that they offer, such as connect Twilio with an app, use a pre-built app, or even customize with Studio. And aside from those features, you can also see on the left side panel, some of the options that you can navigate under develop and monitor section in which under develop, you will see your phone number that you can manage and navigate the active numbers, in which under active numbers, it will show you the list of numbers that has been activated. And as you can see below, we have here the first virtual numbers that we just get earlier. But if you want to have other activated number, you can proceed by clicking by a number which is located on the top right corner, in which upon clicking on it, it will show you the number that you can purchase in a local area and you need to pay monthly fee amounting to 15 US dollar 
Now going back to this page of the active number, you can also see here on the top panel the inventory filters and the configuration filters in which you can navigate it to find a specific number. And aside from this section that you can navigate, you can also click on verified call IDs in which from here it will show you your verified number that you own to use it as a caller ID. But if you want to add new caller ID, kindly proceed by clicking the button which is located on the top right corner. That said, add a new caller ID. And now to proceed on the left side panel, it will show you other options including messaging, studio, conversations, and explore products option. And in those options, to send messages using Twilio, proceed by clicking explore products. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed in this section. And under the explore products, you will see other programmables and communication tools and other options. But in those options, can you find API Explorer. Or alternatively, if you can't find it, kindly enter it under the search bar. And after clicking on API Explorer, from here, you can select other options under programmable voice, programmable SMS, programmable messaging, and many more. But I'm going to choose programmable SMS in order to send SMS. And from here, under programmable SMS, you have the option to create a message, delete a message, view a message, view a message list, and many more. And in those options, can you proceed create a message, which is the first option on the list. And just wait for it to load until you see the details like this, which is divided into two sections, in which from the left side is the format for other required information, while on the right side is the code. Under the parameters, you can choose the format style of your message. You will also see your account as ID, and from here, you are also required to enter the number that you will send the SMS. And under the conditional section, all you need to do is to select your active number that is available. You can also enter messaging service SID, but that is only optional. While for the body section, this is the important part in which you will type or enter the messages that you want to send to the recipient. And as you can see, as we fill out the details, you can also see the changes of code on the right side under the request section reflecting the details that we just customize. And aside from that, below here, you can also enter a media URL that will be including in your message. And below that is an optional details that you can add including status callback, application SID, number of attempt, validity period, and many more. And after entering all the details, in order to send the messages, just scroll down below until you see the red button that says make request. And upon clicking on it, it will show you the response that your SMS has now been sent. Or if not, make sure that the number of recipient number that you enter is valid. And after that, the SMS will now get by the recipient. But if you want to upgrade your account to access the other feature in Twilio, you can purchase their plan amounting to $14.35 in order to upgrade your account. So that is just how to use Twilio to send SMS. Thank you.